The range of modifications of the second-generation Ford Scorpio consists of a four-door sedan and a five-door touring station wagon. Sedans are more common, but station wagons are a rarity. The bodies of all cars are galvanized, so you cannot be afraid of the appearance of rust. But you need to beware of accidents, since there are practically no used body parts, and new ones are expensive. Due to clogging of the drainage hole in the body, the section of the wiring harness, laid in the area of the right wing near the windshield, constantly gets wet during rains, and may rot over time. A sign of a problem is the failure of electrical equipment, therefore, to prevent the disease, you need to regularly clean the drainage hole. Ergonomics claim, the trunk lid opens to a small height, which is why there is a risk of hitting your head on a protruding lock. It is inconvenient to use the ashtray in the cabin, it is placed too close to the gear shift lever. Salon. Salon Scorpio, one of the most spacious among competitors. Thanks to a wide range of seat and steering column adjustments, a person of any height and physique can normally get behind the wheel. In addition, most versions are stuffed very richly. Compared to its predecessor, the sedan's trunk is 25 liters smaller, 465 liters in total, although, unlike most competitors, its size can be increased by folding the rear seat. Engine. The line of power units consists of three upgraded engines, inherited by inheritance. Gasoline with a volume of 2.0 liters, 2.9 liters, and turbo diesel 2.5 liters, as well as two gasoline engines designed specifically for this model, 2.0 L16V and 2.3L. According to the employees of the branded service station, with proper operation, the engine life before replacing the rings is 250 to 300,000 kilometers. Diesel versions do not digest domestic diesel fuel well, and over time, fuel injectors fail in them. In addition, due to the lower location of the camshaft and the use of a separate head for each cylinder, it is very difficult and expensive to repair such a motor. Every 100,000 kilometers on gasoline engines, you need to change the timing chain along with the tensioner, dampers, as well as the oil pump drive chain. The exception is the 207 horsepower unit. On cars with a mileage of over 200,000 kilometers, the throttle position sensor may fail which is manifested by dips when accelerating. Transmission. Ford Scorpio was equipped with five-speed manual and four-speed automatic gearboxes. According to experts, all of them are quite reliable and in the process of operation with timely maintenance there are no serious problems with them. The only malfunction of the mechanics is the leakage of the stuffing box at the backstage of the gear lever. Suspension. The undercarriage of the Scorpions is so soft and comfortable that our roads seem just perfect. The rear suspension of this car is devoid of the main drawback of its predecessor, the curvature of the levers due to the untimely replacement of silent blocks. The creators have significantly strengthened silent blocks, which increased their service life to 200 to 250,000 kilometers. In the front suspension, every 30,000 kilometers, you will have to change the stabilizer struts. The rear silent blocks of the front levers will last a little longer, about 60,000 kilometers. If the ball joint fails, the repair will require significant costs, since this part is only supplied assembled with the front arm. Fixed and front silent block of the lever. Steering. Cars were equipped with rack and pinion steering, which is not very reliable. It is not uncommon for rack oil seals to leak. But the steering rods and tips last a long time. Brake system. The braking system is quite effective. However, due to the heavy weight of the car, during active driving after 60 to 80,000 kilometers, front brake discs wear out. The latest Ford Scorpio is a great choice for the pragmatic buyer. It is endowed with all the positive qualities necessary for business class cars and, moreover, is cheaper than many competitors, one-year-olds.